Hey guys, welcome to another styling series. Um, so this time we are going to be changing the whole area around um, the TV nook. Um, we finally found something that will will fit um, the space and we're very excited to show you guys the process um, of it all and then the, as well as the before um, of what it was like and obviously this is part of the colored oasis series which is our home um and so yeah we're just going to be showing you guys videos of how we decorate like different parts of the house um so yeah this is um all about like the tv nook um very excited um please like comment and subscribe if you are not and to all my current subscribers thank you very much and to anyone that's new you're welcome all right moving on with the video Hey guys, so obviously I have a different outfit on um, and that's because uh, Christmas, New Year's came in between um, and the people that were supposed to put the TV on the wall uh, were affected by um, the festive season as well and so they only came recently. So we've obviously shot this video over a few days, weeks. Um, so yeah, hence the different outfit. Moving on to the TV installation. So um, we got uh, some guys through the good guys and we thought about do doing it ourselves, but when we actually unboxed the TV, it was just way too heavy and we just did not want to make any mistakes because the reality is if we, if it fell and we broke it, we would lose it. And so we decided to go with um, a company um, that has got insurance in case anything happens and they used to it, used to doing it. And so therefore, yes, we went with the, a company recommended by the good guys. They were pretty good. Two guys came, which is good. So nobody has to help them. And they literally put it in within like 15, 20 minutes which is great. Um, the other thing is um, they did end up selling us their own TV bracket. Um, the one that we bought from the good guys was not going to work with the size and weight of the TV. Because um, initially we, we actually bought a TV bracket that would actually bring the TV out a little bit and be, we would be able to move it so that we, like, if you're in the kitchen, you can be able to see the TV. But from what they explained to us is when you pull the TV out then it is the, the weight of the TV is just sitting on just a small part of um, the TV bracket and that makes it very dangerous over time um, that it weakens um, the whole thing um, and the TV could actually fall so we ended up going with their TV bracket which is actually much cheaper the only disadvantage obviously is that it does not bring the TV out and be able to change it but for us, safety is better. Um, and besides that, it was such a good experience. Lovely people. I definitely recommend uh, them. I think the best way to do it is to go through the good guys. But now um, the TV is on the wall and we're just going to show you guys how we decorate the whole space. And yeah, let's get right into it. <laughs> So that was my styling sesh, really simple. Um, I feel like um, with a TV nook, you do not want too much there. Um, it needs to be as minimalist as possible, but at the same time, it needs to look um, together, if that makes sense. You've got the TV, which is the main event, essentially. And so you do not want too many things to distract, you know, like when you're watching something really fun and interesting. So let me quickly go through some of the things that I have put here and where I've gotten them from. I decided to go for vases just because I love vases and I have so many of them. And so therefore, yes, uh, let's start with um, this corner here. From the left side, we got a subwoofer, which unfortunately um, we don't have any specific 
spot for it and so we have to have it there because we can't have anything on top of it and it can't be on top of anything um, just to you know preserve it and stuff like that and then it's obviously got a sister or brother which is a sound bar um, it's from Bose and we absolutely love um, how the quality of the sound that comes from it and um, just how loud it is okay and then uh, continuing on we've got a couple of vases here um, this one here is from West Elm um, I just love how really simple it's got a simple silhouette um, that is timeless um, and then right next to it we've got a, a little vase which is a little bit more you know like interesting and stuff like that um, and that one is from Kmart I love mixing um, a little bit of expensive and you know something a little bit cheaper because to, together it creates something you can afford but also looks high-end if that makes sense um, and then right behind it we have a candle holder which is from IKEA and I think the candle is also from IKEA okay so that's the left nook or left side moving on obviously the sound bar has to be right in the middle so that it distributes music evenly and then to the right side i decided to switch it up a little bit because we don't want to have just too many vases um so um i used some um coffee table books uh one from ad architectural digest which i feel like is an absolute must um, in every home or at least if you're into interior designing and all that and the second one is called the brown bohemians um, it is all about um, you know just different shades of that brown woman um, and just shows um, about our the things that we love art and fashion and all that jazz really fun book to go through um, obviously being a brown skin woman um, I'm always going to want things that represent me around our home um, and then on top of uh, the coffee table books um, I decided to put another vase which is a completely different shape this is so in at the moment but I feel like it's something that I'm not gonna get over I absolutely love it I also got this one from um, Kmart and I absolutely love that I got it at a good price um, and then I just decided to put some um, fall flowers I just love the simplicity of it I didn't want to do too much florals um, because this is also a home um, that a man lives in and I don't want to make it all so feminine and that is that obviously we've got our Christmas tree that is you know popping through um, in, th in this entire video We'll be taking it down very soon but obviously we're doing this right after the new year and so um it's still there we'll take it down sometime soon um but we're not ready okay and our tv unit we got it from freedom we just love that it was solid wood very very minimalist and um still spacious inside so um, inside the tv console um we've got some board games we've got an xbox and um we also have an Apple TV in there and then that's where also we keep like our remotes and anything that is um, that needs to be there but other than that yeah like it just um, brings everything together it's just perfect for the space and we absolutely love it <laughs> guys that's all we've got for this video um thank you for watching till the end please give us a thumbs up um like comment and subscribe if you're not and uh, please share with your friends and family and definitely um subscribe to us and also click on the notification bell uh, because we've got lots of um, other videos coming through um, as we're finally getting the small bits and pieces that need to finalize all the different nooks in the house so definitely um, you know keep tuned um, keep subscribed and follow me on Instagram because there's lots of um, information that comes through also Instagram and yeah other than that have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I'll see you in my next video bye